Hey everyone, this is Mason from Filtergrade. Fall is a very aesthetic time of year and fall photography is very popular. Warm orange tones are the name of the game, but there are a lot more subtle changes you can make to achieve a good fall look. Today we're going to be editing some images that weren't taken in the fall in order to show just how easy and versatile Lightroom can be when you have a specific look in mind. And spoiler alert, we're not just putting an orange filter on it and calling it good. So here we have this image. It's very green. It's definitely not the middle of fall. There's some yellowing in the leaves, so maybe it's becoming fall, but it's certainly not the fall look that we're looking for. This is far too lush. So we're gonna start in the light settings. We're gonna bump up the contrast. We're going to lower the highlights all the way. You can really see the detail come out in the waterfall there. We're going to raise our shadows a little bit. And then we're going to lower the whites and raise the blacks a little bit. It's gonna just make some subtle changes. And we're gonna go into our curves. We're gonna make three points so that we can adjust our highlights, midtones, and shadows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna raise highlights. We're going to reduce shadows by a little bit. We're gonna raise our midtones just slightly, and then we're gonna take our blacks and push them a little more into the gray. And we're gonna say done. So now we're getting a bit of a faded look here. It's already looking good. Uh, what is really going to make an impact is when we go into color, and no, we're not changing the color temperature. That would make it look like this, which is not what we want. We're instead going to go to the color mix, and what really matters is this yellow and green. So we're actually gonna change the hue of yellow so that it's orange, and we're gonna change the hue of green so it's also a bit more that way. Then we're gonna reduce the green saturation, increase the yellow saturation, increase the orange saturation, push our reds into oranges, and that's looking pretty dang good. The greens are super subdued, and we are getting a lot of orange tones in there, a lot of pops of color. So let's go ahead and increase our saturation a little bit. And we don't want vibrance of that makes the water too blue. We're actually gonna turn the vibrance a little bit down. The saturation going up is really gonna make those orange tones come out. And then we might benefit from a slight temperature increase but now, look at that. It's suddenly a fall picture. This was the before, and here's the after. Big change. So now let's try a different picture. So here's another picture where it's definitely not fall. You mostly have grass here. What we're going to achieve here is a bit of a dead grass look. So if we go to our lighting, we can bring up the contrast bring down the highlights, which in this case pretty much just brings out the detail of the sky. I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit, and then lower the whites, raise the blacks. Go into our curves, create our three points. I'm gonna continue, raise the highlights, raise mid-tones, reduce shadows, and then raise up the blacks. And once again, the magic happens in the color mix. So let's go ahead and push our yellows into oranges and our greens into yellows. It's a little bit too orange. Now let's go ahead and increase vibrance, or decrease vibrance rather, and then increase saturation and give it a slight warm tone. And there we go. Seconds later, we have something that looks much more fall-like than this. If you wanted to, you could probably decrease the contrast a bit. That looks pretty good. Now let's do one last example. This one is in the middle of the forest. Looks like it could be around fall time, but there's no, there's no orange. So we're gonna do the same thing where we increase contrast, decrease highlights, get some of the detail back from that fog, increase our shadows, lower the whites, raise the blacks, really get in that contrast. Again, make the same adjustments with our curves. And then go into our color mix. Make our greens yellow and our yellows orange. And this one's a little bit more subtle, but 
add a little temperature increase, nothing too crazy. And look what we've got. So of course you can go really overboard, you can get some really orange looks, make your entire thing orange, but it's really all about taking the trees and taking all the green out. Like I said earlier, orange is the name of the game. You want to make it feel warm and cozy. And that is definitely what, what this does. I mean, even going back to this first picture, massive difference. We've taken out those greens and replaced them with some nice fall colors. If you wanted to do anything additional, you can go into some effects. A vignette never hurts. Feather that, brings the focus in a little bit more. Another thing we can do is adjust the clarity. That'll give it a little bit of extra extra sharpness. Of course, don't go too far, but in something like this, it looks pretty good. And that's how you edit a fall photo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think of this tutorial, if you edit your fall photos any differently. But in the meantime, get out there and have fun editing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.